gender disparity in Nigeria's electoral process has remained a huge challenge given that Nigeria has a national gender policy that has remained ineffective. This was a focus at the review of women's participation in the 2019 general elections. The experiences narrated by these women serve as a pointer that the number of female aspirants may continue to remain on the low. I say this because the monetary or monetization in politics allows the male gender to be able to mobilize thugs to say that woman, who does she think she is? How dare her come forth and say she wants to contest in the same or for the same position that I am contesting? Make sure you beat her up. Some of my colleagues in the National Assembly that are female experience that. Participation of women in the political process falls short of the statutory 35% as stated in the gender policy. For these women, promotion of gender equality and ensuring adequate women participation in the electoral process falls on state and non-state actors alike. The significant efforts recorded by the Commission to support the participation of women in the electoral process did not succeed in addressing the decline of women's representation in politics. The overall level of representation of women in politics remains a cause for concern as the number of women elected into national and state assemblies have continued to decline. As at the last general elections in Nigeria, there were 2,970 female candidates across all political parties. Only 62 of this quoted figure eventually won at the polls. As at state level, 1,067 candidates contested for the gubernatorial seats, but only 80 of these contenders were women. We know that the Nigerian women are not happy, that despite all the efforts that have been put in place, by the Electoral Commission and other stakeholders, the outcome of the election did not necessarily reflect what was anticipated. And of course, we know that we are here to interrogate what happened. We really salute the commitment of the Electoral Commission to look through its processes and to check, you know, uh, to know if there are any issues or any areas that could be improved upon in subsequent electoral cycles. The fundamental human rights. Nigeria has a national gender policy as far back as 2004. INEC has its own domesticated gender policy in 2014. Yet, women are still facing challenges when they venture into politics. So I now said that maybe it could be that we all have these protocols, but we do not have a legislation that will ensure compliance. And I want to recommend that INEC should leave the forefront in ensuring that our national gender policy, INEC gender policy, is domesticated by all registered political parties. The bulk of the blame on gender inequality falls on political parties. However, it is also imperative that strategies are put in place to overcome such challenges caused by culture and financial factors. Roots TV Nigeria.